Virgin Media is made up of the amalgamation of approximately 200 cable companies in the UK that over many years basically has come together to form one big organisation. So the Virgin brand is all about standing up for the consumer, doing things in a very creative, innovative kind of way, with the customer right at the heart of everything that we do. In order to separate ourselves from our competitors in this very competitive market, we need to stand out, we need to be the consumer champion, and as such our values really help us to do that. So we have five values that really permeate absolutely everything we do. They're not just words that we put up and forget about. Fun within Virgin Media is all about you know having that great sense of humour. It's not necessarily about just being tacky and wacky. Of course fun can be hard work. It's about doing exactly the right thing on behalf of the customer, the consumer champion. For example we have our chief executive officer, you know we have our chief finance officer. We actually have a chief values officer called Red and we use Red for our internal communications. He's on all of our kind of little briefings that we do. He's the token, the representation of what Virgin means. He underpins all of our values and he displays all of our values and he's used to help bring our values to life for everybody across our organization. We're currently using Cornerstone On Demand um, to drive our performance management activities. A key part of engagement is having the alignment of every individual um, to the strategy. What we've managed to get from Cornerstone On Demand is some great management uh, information, some great MI. And this has shown that employees um, who do have PDP within Cornerstone are actually six percentage points more engaged um, as employees in the organisation, so we can see a direct correlation there um, between performance uh, and engagement. The approach that we took um, was classroom was clearly um, one option, or we could challenge the norm and actually go to some of the suppliers and say we want something different and then leverage technology that we have um, to support behind that. So the approach that, that we took was to engage with ILX to say we want these sessions delivered virtually um, using a, an online classroom. We want to break it up into small bite-sized chunks and we want to use social collaboration and I guess a, a big efficiency would really be the overall cost so we, we put a hundred people through for around £42,000 in total. Um, for, for the qualification and if we'd done it conventionally that would have cost over £300,000 for us to deliver. What we really drill into our guys, development for a person doesn't stop at the door. So when they're in work it's not the only time that they need to develop. They could go home, log on and do a course that's for their own personal development. Something probably not related to their day job but it's something that they want to work towards from the training courses to the PDP to the objectives that we're setting and their one-to-one -one, uh, appraisals that we're having it's all in one place now and for us as as a company it's the way that we, that we wanted to do it and for us it's fulfilled everything that we really wanted <laughs>